Hello, today we are here with Nicole Gravelis at Efficient Working Bodies. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you doing today? Excellent. Good. It's so good to be here. I love this space. I walk in and I feel the energy right away. What yeah. inspired the design or what are you going for here? Uh, well, the face of fitness these days is more of an open floor plan so the body can move up, down, and all around. So. I wanted to keep the base floor open because we also do group classes here. So the, uh, mm. everybody sits in the middle mm -hmm. here uh, and then have everything very easily accessible on the outskirts. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I've just been doing it for a long time and I've always had this vision and I was lucky enough to make it happen here. Well, I love how you've incorporated um, the poles even and the structure itself, you've utilized the, the space really well. Yeah, yeah, we were really lucky with that because the bands, uh, it, it's a perfect setup for them. Mm -hmm. Now tell me about body efficiency. Um, you know, what separates one body from another and how do you in, integrate with your customers? Well, we look at uh, each individual client as, you know, them, themselves and what their bodies have what kind of stresses their bodies have accumulated over time, what their individual needs are. So uh, it just depends. It could be somebody who wants to have more flexibility, mobility, uh, more strength. Uh, it might be more of an athlete who's looking more for um, endurance and uh, agility. So it sounds like one size fits all? You know, we, we are, we're a movement-based company, so we find what you need mm. and then make it fit you. So That the, doesn't mean it's going to fit me. It's a personalized care. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We really work hard at keeping it very um, attentive to each individual client. Okay. So everybody gets a workout and at least a, a flow that caters to their unique being and energy. Yeah, yeah. So in addition to that, what else are you good at? Motivating people to move, mm. encouraging them to stay with it, you know, uh, maybe still take a break, but don't quit. Come right back to it. Mm. So I think mm -hmm. our thing here is uh, we give a lot of modifications for the individual or advancements if they need it. And then again, I, I really think it's the, the motivation and mm. encouragement. So it sounds like, I mean, from my experience of, of being an athlete or surfing or just do, human nature, we're better together. And what I'm hearing you say is by motivating people, you're able to provide the source of even just the energy that they need to keep going. Yeah. Tell me about the community you have here. Oh, I love them all. Um, well, we're at Ocean Beach, so you know how cool that is, mm. first of all. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of parents uh, who I want to help keep up with their kids, a lot of uh, older people. We actually have a senior class that we want to make sure our older community and generation can oh, still awesome. walk the hood with you and et cetera. Um, like I said, family oriented. So, you know, you'll walk through here and you're like, oh, you're my neighbor. Wow, great to see you and finally get to meet you and chat. And mm -hmm. so that's the community. And that's, that's part, of, part of what I love here. Yes, absolutely. Um, tell me about body energy. You know, it's one of those things that I see is kind of, it's falling by the wayside, this um, ability to, tap into your own energy and then to keep it up. I mean, everybody, let's face it, we're all hooked on coffee. Right. You know, right. the general population, we're running on coffee and then we sit down and then we are on line. How do we restore the energy equilibrium? Right. That's perfect, Clayton. I mean, people are overstressed, overstimulated. And uh, what we want to do here is teach you that in the midst of this chaos, you can still stay calm. Mm. and progress. Mm -hmm. Sustainable energy, sustainable um, wants, needs, and desires to be able to accomplish those. So uh, for energy, you know, we talk a lot about nutrition and, you know, that's going to be like oxygen, breathing. Mm. So we also do incorporate, we have some gentle yoga here as well. Uh, but like what you were saying is, People are just go, go, go. And what we try to encourage is even though some of our classes might be fast and furious, you can slow down that day. You can go faster that day, but you're going to listen to your body and we're going to encourage you to recognize that, you know, maybe today's a slower day. 
maybe it's a lighter weight and a smoother movement pattern where other days you feel the fire and you're just going to go crazy, right? So you might add on that extra weight. Well, I see as I look around the studio here, and, and thank you for leading me on a little sample of, of what you do. It looks like you have different exercises for different levels of energy and different body capabilities. Um, give us a little bit of the buffet of exercises that you're able to incorporate here. Uh, well, one of my favorite things are the bands, the resistance mm. bands, because mm -hmm. that taps right into your core. Core meaning hip power, abdominal strength, back strength, shoulder strength. So with the bands, I love those, they create, you know, the farther away it gets, the harder it is to control. The dumbbells, good old fashioned traditional nice. dumbbells, we can take them from the floor to the sky, we can mm -hmm. use them um, for a good old fashioned uh, hypertrophy training, which is muscle building. Uh, the slam balls, is, as the we experience, slam balls. the slam oh balls gosh. are the best. I swear everybody loves the slam balls. Right. Because you know, you can take it slow and then, oh, just give it some power, you know, and those days when you're like, I just want to kill everybody. Not that I think you should do that, but come in, move the weight around, move your body around, get regenerized. So the, the slam balls are a lot of fun for that. Now the slam ball for me is interesting because we carry energy and sometimes we can let it build up mm. and it's like, when you let release it, you're actually like releasing it into the ether and it's then into the floor and you're actually transferring some energy yeah. and it feels good. Yeah. Well, um, you know, you're getting to release some it of that release. built up tension from your day. I mean, people come in here, they're rushing in, they're upset with something or just frazzled. Right. That's what I find is that people are frazzled. So within our warm up, we get people to just start connecting into the body, loosen up some of the stressors, but connect where we should. And then, uh, and then we take it from there. And the classes are small. We only, uh, we only allow 12 people per class. Oh, nice. So we can keep that individualized attention. So where your knees might be caving in, my knees might be bowing out, and I'm going to be able to come up and say, hey, well, that's where you can add the personalized in. care in that sort yeah. of more boutique environment. Yeah. So behind the energy, behind the helping other people, like, why do you do what you do? Uh, well, personally, I know that fitness, yoga, those things have helped me to get better control of my authentic self. Uh, I like... You know, I had that time in my life that was crazy. I was binge eating, I was gaining weight, losing weight, even throughout my fitness career. And then finally, it was the yoga that really kind of brought me, brought mm. me down and recognized that every day doesn't have to be crazy. Um, and then the fitness itself, you know, it feels good to sweat, get that built up energy out. If I'm feeling um, amped up or low key, the fitness just kind of, sets me right in the middle, you know, takes me personally back to earth, grounds me down, makes me feel good mentally, number one, mentally, and then physically as well. So it sounds like you've been able to experience a level of breakthrough, healing, and enjoyment of life, and you like sharing that with others. Through fitness, yeah, and that's what I want to do. I want to help people just feel amazing all the time. You know, we go through... I've got to keep up with the Joneses, and why don't I have this, and they have that, or why can't I look like that person? You know, you just, you can't. So you have to accept where you're at and do the best with what you have. Well, speaking of where you're at, you're located on Point Loma Avenue, mm -hmm. on the first block near Sunset Cliffs. You guys have that amazing ocean breeze. It's wonderful. It helps. Okay, cool. And what's the best way for people to get in touch with you when they want to check it out, book a session, get some training? I think most people get online and check out our website first. Mm, you have a great website. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and then uh, phone calls, et cetera. I usually see people walk by, take photos, and then they either, oh, perfect. They either check it out, Google it, or phone call in. Well, you have a great storefront. You're accessible. The energy here is awesome, and you're a great trainer, and I look forward to coming back and definitely sharing the word. Yeah, we love it. Thank Nicole, you so, thank so you. much. thank you. It's an honor to be here. Yeah, and we're excited to serve the community, really. The community is grateful to have you here, and we're better off with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.